everybody hope you're really enjoying today for today's message we're going to be looking at the divine masculine energies and we can begin with the first message straight away i knew that we had been married in past lifetimes the very first time i saw you so this seems to be a very matrimonial theme coming through from the last video well, we've been married for the whole of time not in just in past lifetimes but way beyond that this connection goes way beyond any soulmate just keep doing what you're doing because it's literally the path to me no matter what it looks like. Right where you are, right now is where you need to be. You already have everything you need for Harmonious Twin Flame Union right in this room. Keep doing this and I'll show up at your flipping door. Even if I'm doing stuff you don't like right now, you may as well love me. I'll love you back. Love begets love because you love me so much. Queen of Pentacles. So it's just Pentacles that have been coming out of this deck for the last couple of messages. Yeah, you know, we're going to be in service. We're going to be doing our life purpose together. We're going to be Living to serve the divine. Our divine purpose will be dedicated. Something's going to finally manifest after a long time. We're physically manifesting one another. Be willing to explore and accept the gifts presented looking into the future. There's abundance coming in. Clear your plate, balance the scales. I might be concentrating on my finances at the moment and that's okay, I'm feeling back on top, my mind is on business, I'm feeling balanced, rooted and grounded, emotion and logic combined, a big relationship opportunity. I may be experiencing some profound sadness that comes from having moved on from a past relationship. But I'm moving on from those, those times, moving on from people that were not much to flame. So where am I mirroring this in you? You may still be carrying a little bit of unresolved emotion or there may be some conflict. So feel into what that might be and bring love there to resolve them to physically manifest your one true love and we'll be receiving great prosperity be willing to explore accept your gifts and look to the future and we have the lovers and this is the future this is where we're heading. The energy of Gemini. If you're a Gemini or a Gemini rising, this may be a special message for you. We're going to be moving into deeper harmony. We're going to be harmonizing and aligning in every area in our relationship, especially at the core. In terms of values and alignment choices, conscious connections, meaningful relationship, a beautiful and soul honouring connection is what we have. We have found the one and the energy between us goes way beyond instant gratification to something really deep and eternal. We're going to be moving into open communication and raw honesty. We'll be willing to be our most vulnerable. 
And that's something we've, that probably neither of us have ever done before. Marriage commitment uh, or some kind of bonding of emotional ties may be on the horizon once again. A lot of wedding energy in the last couple of videos. And we may find a fertile oasis of mutual sharing and caring in the desert of loneliness and experience harmony after a time of discourse. Discord. This makes for a powerful bond between the two of us. will create a harmonious and fulfilling connection re relationship built on trust and respect. Your mind may search for and find a path leading to improvement of intimate communications. Love's mysteries are revealed. And you may find yourself finding... You may find yourself making important decisions concerning your romantic destiny and getting clear about your values and beliefs. Figuring out what you stand for and believing because to fully reveal True Twin Flames you have to absolutely align at the core in every place. If there's an area where it looks like we don't align, that's okay too. It's just an invitation to go deeper in this area because on True Twin Flames there's no misalignments, just miscommunications requiring clarification and that's okay and they go on crystal children so there may be children who are a part of our union maybe I have children or you do or it could be children around the periphery of our union it could be about the inner child take it as it, it resonates but find your inner child and feed it. You are an angel. Yeah, I can feel you with me all the time. Uh, and I'm at peace with that. So at peace, I'm almost a little bit afraid that it might not happen. But we're already united with each other. Be with that. Everything else is okay. Don't be afraid of letting go of attachment to me, which is the very thing that pushes me away. You're not here to get me. But coming into a state of being. Release the attachment and you'll see that I'm still right here. With every layer, I'm still here. It's okay not to attach, to let go of it. And instead, feel how you feel on the inside and choose to love yourself there. I showed you I loved you through our magical kisses. Well, maybe some of those magical kisses weren't the um, type that you would have necessarily have picked for yourself. Maybe they were very, maybe it was an action that was very triggering. But any little trigger is just showing you your next step, showing you where to go, showing you where to work and where to love yourself, where to bring divine love to make anything not peaceful dissolve. Your expansion of your love on the inside is the place that gives you the thing that you were looking for on the outside. Which is, we, we, so there's no need to cling to anything. It's safe to choose your inner well-being over anything on the outside that you think may give you outer well-being. Nothing's more important than feeling good right now and aligning yourself with that feeling on the inside. Your, that feeling is your union with me. And if it brings up a fear about coming together, it's safe to let that fear go. Unattached, you already are. With your divine lover, of course it's going to happen. Two of Wands. Yeah, so as you work through this process of, which is effectively a divine balance of holding on and letting go, I'm considering the relationship and how we can get through this time period. Do we have what it takes? I'm looking to the future and the relationship within that future. I'm making a life-changing decision. 
the world is our oyster and that seems like a good thing but sometimes the burden of choice could be heavy there's only so many hours in a day and only so much energy in a person so it's okay to take this uh, with the most compassionate pace for you and in doing so please know that I'm going to be making my a very important life choice that arouses my passion and stirs you the most and you're the one that stirs me the most soul contract because we were destined to be together we were created together in the same instant to share all of eternity together how is my passion not going to be stirred the most by you So even though this is the truth and it's the divine truth and it's safe to surrender to what is the divine truth that I am yours and always have been and always will be, sometimes you can run into a sticky upset when we look to the outside and think the divine won't help us with this. But the divine does and she will. Especially this one where we do need to surrender deeper. There's going to be places where you hurt and where you need love the most. They're the ones where you have to let go and be with the divine. Because that's going to bring you the peace you desire. All these really challenging things come up for a reason so you can love yourself there. Keep surrendering, keep the faith. It's not anything outside of you that will, it, that will make you happy. Only finding that happiness and peace on the inside right now. Whatever it takes. And then everything on the outside lines up to match it. So just keep doing what you're doing. And then you can have me. Okay, everybody. I'm going to end this message here. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.